Hey, my name is Zytronaut. Welcome back to Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse, The Beginning. This is episode 3. It's probably a little too late to tell you, but hey, there's some coarse language in this game. So if you're a Wii One, or you have Wii Ones around, and you don't want them to hear the F-bomb every like 5 minutes, probably more frequent than that, then maybe uh, stop watching this. But if you do enjoy that kind of stuff, if you like the South Parky type of humor, I think you'll like this. But again, this is the third episode. I don't know why I'm saying this. Let's just get right into it. No, continue. There we go. That was close. That would have been bad. These games where you only have one save file if you restart. Whoops. You know what I'm saying? Whoops. So, right. back to camp, huh? Yeah. Hopefully we can convince some... Hey, look. A Porsche. Nice. This might save us some time. But how do we make it stop? It's, it's going seriously fast. Yeah. Let's pull up the road so it has to stop. I hope we don't make him mad. Ah, don't worry. It's not slowing down. Come on! Hank, it's gonna crush us! Shit! Well, that was close. What the fuck do you idiots think you're doing? Hello, miss. How you doing? What a nice question. You know, Rabbit, I'm a bit hungry. Well, we can help you with that. My thoughts exactly. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, I've been thinking. Civilized society is pretty much dead. Hell, now we can slowly move away from our fish-only diet. It's only the fourth month of the apocalypse. Not cannibalism if she's a fox and you're a rabbit. Let's wait a few more until we go totally nuts. Four is plenty. Anyhow, what's wrong with eating fish? Times are tough, and I'm getting an appetite for something else nowadays. Come on, fish are delectable. There's a good reason we've all been eating only fish for the last 2,000 years. Name one. Healthy animal relationships. Oh yeah, great relationships. We're freaking thriving. Look at us. Are you really gonna blame the apocalypse on the fish? So what do you want anyway? We have a proposition for you. We are professional... resource collecting guides. What? Yes, we help guide animals through the best kinds of... Yeah, I feel like with her it's gotta be... Like, if she's got a Porsche, she's, like, on the upper end of society, so we have to use, like, better lingo than saying looting. Scavenging locations. I don't think so. And keep them safe from... Just say zombies. Zombies. Wait, are you from the Scavengers Guild? Yes. Yes, we are very reliable, as you surely have heard already. When did you become members? Not from the beginning, what? A few months ago. Hmm. Did you? Because I was living there till a month ago. You did? Yes. So? Well, we probably just missed each other. We were on the road for most of the time. That's a solid excuse. But I know <sighs> when animals are lying. Ow. It's a gift I have. So you better cut the crap. All right, fine. Maybe we ain't members. But we'd really like to join, so we pretend sometimes. Freaking weirdos. Zombies? Where? What? No. You are weirdos. Look, can you please not misuse the term? That's what zombies are called now. <sighs> Larry has a point. But back to the guild. Well, can you help us get memberships? Nah. A bunch of useless pricks like you two would never get a membership in that kind of exclusive place. Come on, we're getting a lot of things. Like guiding scavengers. First time I've heard of anyone doing this. Well, it's a new young field, but very promising. You know what? Whatever. I'll tell you where it is. What do I care anyway? It's that godforsaken hostel at the end of the town. Hmm. I forgot the name. Is it the one that we told that person? The prostitute place? Flying doggy? No, the other one. Luscious Joe's? Yeah, that one. 
But I wouldn't be so excited. It's virtually impossible for animals like you to join. Let us change your mind about that one. Let's go for one round of scavenging, and you'll see what we're all about. Are you dumb? You don't need to persuade me. I'm not a member anymore. Nevertheless, want to do this? I'm considering eating rabbits, not doing chores for them. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's really more like we work for you. You get to keep. Oh. 70% uh, uh. of loot. And how do you feel about me eating your legs? Ha ha. How much would you suggest? Both. Both of what? Of your legs. Ugh. I'd agree to that. If you really could help me, 90%. Jesus. But I don't see what's in this for me. 90%? I'll tell you what's in it for you. Getting the best quality loot at the place we take you. For only 15% of your loot. You seem like two very greedy animals. 15%. Maybe you do know a place or two. What the heck? Let's give this thing a shot. I can always eat you if I'm not happy with how it turns out. Great, let's do this. Hop in. Wait, why are how we leaving her for? have left on the map. Just one more. This one's my favorite so far. What is it? What you got for us? All right, so she's just leaving her Porsche. I'm beginning. Look at. Okay, so this background One picture seven. here. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to eat a rabbit after all. As zombies. All right, all right. Can we there are no zombies. The rabbit eating jokes and just do this? If only you knew how serious I am. Uh. Gotta say though, I can't be too disappointed. It is a wine cellar. Yeah, right. It's as good as food. It's better. I'm going in, and you asses better keep your eyes open. Drink, 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 drink. All right, I've yet to see an actual this zombie. This has already been looted, pinheads. There's nothing left. Just a few bottles. Go down here. And there's the cellar door. Do it. Well, that's where all the wine is. Animals are terrified of cellars nowadays. Well, it's locked. We can guide you to lock it. Get out of here. You're gonna guide me. Ooh, five. But as long as I don't miss one, it doesn't matter what order. Oh, shit. It doesn't matter what order I do this in, so. No! Okay. Ooh, that was, oh, it's fast! Oh. No! <laughs> Alright, I get. Okay. It gets gradually faster. So I gotta hit this one here. That one. Oh, I got it. Oh my. Alright. Yes. There. I've been breaking locks since before I learned how to walk. Wait, you did that I'm without us? In. Do it. Fuck! Who are you? What do you want? You scared the shit out of me, Daffy! Who's Daffy? Yeah, like you don't know who Daffy Duck is. What is that? Some homeless bird? Uh, looks like it. Who are you talking to? Uh, hi, Duck. Larry here. Uh, you know, a wine cellar is not a homeless shelter. I'm not homeless. This is just where I sleep. Sleeping in... someone's wine cellar is the definition of being homeless. What the heck are you talking about? It's the zombie apocalypse. All right, hobo. There's no point in arguing with you. But you should know that we're looting the cellar. Well, I was here first, so I'll just loot the wines I like, and you can have the rest. And how about I eat your legs, ugly duckling? And then I'll choose first. Aha, we're getting primal here. Okay, okay. But know that I am well versed in martial arts. Plus, I have this little friend by my side. Oh, how precious. Looks like I'll be eating some bird legs after all. Oh, uh, well, in that case, Feel free to loot first. I oh, like you her. Gun? You know, the really weird thing is that everybody doesn't have a gun. I mean, it's the zombie apocalypse, so can't you see? Well, it's not really a gun brimming town. <sighs> Tell me about it. I'm going into the cellar. Now we're talking, baby. This bitch is loaded. All right. Oh, look at this. All right, we've got rich, creamy, nutty wine. What is this one? Fruity, dry red wine. Just like the rest, so we'll take these ones for sure. We'll just take them all. Hopefully, she doesn't get attacked down there. No, I wanted that. 
Okay, okay. You don't have to flash your gun every time you don't like something. You're gonna get shot, hobo. I'm not a hobo. Better listen to the rabbit. He's a rabbit? Why don't you eat his legs? Oh, I will. Gonna make a duck rabbit stew. And I'll need some Pinot Noir for afterwards. Gonna make a whole evening out of it. Oh, shit. What? Um, I'm not. Give us a second. What, Larry? Just tell her there's a zombie at the door. Is it, though? I don't think I can fucking tell a drunk animal from a zombie. Of course it's a zombie. Let me take a look. Yeah. Well... Is it? I guess it's... What's going on with his know. mouth? So what? I'll just tell her we're not sure. Are you serious? She's already talking about eating you. She's joking. <laughs> Hopefully. But do you think she'll honor our deal if she sees that we can't tell if an animal is a zombie or not? Well, that would make us pretty crappy scavenger guides. It does! I'm feeling really strong imposter syndrome right now. What imposter syndrome? We are imposters. We are? Oh, totally. Alright, let's just take a good look and decide if it's a zombie or not. Hey, Bill and Ted, what's going on? Oh, listen. In front of the store, there's a... Drunk bird. I don't think it's so a zombie. What? Maybe you'll want to take care of it. You two are truly useless. That's not a drunk bird. It's a zombie. It is? Are you two fucking with me? I mean, it is like smashing. It's just not making any sounds. I'm gonna. S She's gonna keep all the loot if we're wrong. No, no, it is. We have to stick bird, with our really. guns. Uh, we've made the similar mistake before. You're either trying to get me killed, or you really can't tell what a zombie looks like. And I'm not sure which pisses me off more. Oh, uh, sorry. Is it a zombie or what? Locked. I don't want to deal with this game yet. I'm going to go loot now. Not yet. I've seen more bottles I want. Uh. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, I wanted those. Ooh, sweet hazelnut wine. Vintage port wine. Uh, I hate to be the bad Oh, there we player, go. But since Hank won't say it, there is a coyote in front of your door. A fucking coyote? What the fuck is bringing those stinkers here? Weirdos. What? That's what they call nowadays. Weirdos. And you think this is relevant now? Hey, communication is very important. Oh, okay. I have something to communicate to the meat on your bones. Maybe you should be a bit quieter. They're trying to break the glass. Oh, we are through. Chill out, Daffy. I've handled more serious situations than a coyote and a chicken. A coyote is a pretty serious situation. I'll deal with it. Shut up, hobo. The lady has a gun. Oh, yeah, right. I can't carry much more, but there are some sweet wines over here. Let's see if there are some worth swapping with ones I looted. Yeah, probably. Like this, let's see. 5 to 15, 5 to 20... 5 to 30, so we'll drop all these 5 to 15s. Take these 5 to 30s, sweet hazelnut wines, what I'm talking about. 10 to 20s, nice. Alright, let's max her out. Oh, that's a big one. You're going to seriously freak out right now. What's going on? Oh. There's a bear trying to get in. A fucking bear? Yeah. Okay, I believe it now. I believe in zombies now. Oh, Anything that is helpful. Well, it's funny actually. Uh, we do have a classic joke to me. A rabbit, a fox, and a bear walk into the wine cellar. Oh my fucking god. Let me guess the punchline. The rabbit? have enough bullets to bring down a fucking bear. Do you know how many bullets it would take to kill a bear zombie? Right, but seriously, this one really sounds like a joke set up. I swear to God, rabbit! Okay, a 
Okay, sorry. Let me try. One foot to the head. Rabbit, shut the fuck up. Consider your legs eaten. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm just trying to help. You're trying to get your legs... Oh, fucking hell! And how many do you have? Zero. Zero? Yes, zero. Seriously? Seriously. There is only one fucking arm store in this fucking town. It's the first fucking thing that everybody looted. This is my personal game. But of course, I'm out of fucking ammo by now. Waving that gun around then. Because it makes you shit your pants. Oh. Shut the fuck up and let me think. You better think fast because it doesn't look like the class will last much longer. Get into the cellar. Get into the cellar. Oh, we really screwed the pooch this time. Hey, it's not our fault. They pulled weirdos from the whole neighborhood by yelling like morons. You know what? I have an idea. Let's do the same. We honk, pull the zombies to our van, and then slowly drive away. Hmm, let's see. Our low fuel light has been on for some time now, so if it runs out, or if anything else happens to the van, we'll be the ones stuck with zombies all around us. Plus, how we get our part of the loop? Maybe she'll meet us somewhere later, will she? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but do you have an alternative? Yes. We tell our foxy lady to open the door and run into the basement. Seem very big from what I can tell. So there's enough space for her to avoid the zombies, go back upstairs, and escape the building. They could easily die doing that. Yeah, and we can also die. And listen, if she's as badass as she talks, she'll manage to dodge her way out. And if she's not, then it'll serve her right, intimidating us with no basis. I don't know, Hank. I prefer my idea. Well, both are risky. I think I have an idea. You? I'll just sacrifice the duck. What the hell? Listen. Um. This one. Can drive the zombies away. In that case, I might not have to sacrifice the duck. Oh, stop with that. Where can we find you later to take off part of the loot? Oh, you would like that. You know. We could just not honk. Sometimes my horn just won't honk. Drive, drive! We get stuck somewhere for days with zombies all around us. I'll meet your legs with sustenance, Larry. I'm the one who's a carnivore here. I bet you two lines of coke that I'll start eating other animals before you do. I'll take it. Alright, that was way too much talking for such a scary wow, situation. She showed up. I was just about to leave. And you know what was the only thing keeping me here? Hank's legs? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're really wearing that one out. Now hand over our part of the loot. Honor among thieves is all we have left nowadays. Here. 15%, so I got like two wine bottles maybe? Maybe three? Oh, jeez. Okay, so if I take one of those, that's really expensive. I feel like I should take more of the lesser ones. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Then I'll have 23 left. How close can I get? Not any of these 32s. So then seven. So I could do that. I'd rather just get, you know, maximize my profits uh, out of my value and equal my value, 42, as opposed to having any leftovers. So I'll just take four instead of the however many that is. We'll be seeing you around. Bye bye. Enjoy your shit wine. Is this the last place around? Yeah. The Scavengers Guild is our next destination. We'll need a fucking miracle to get in. We'll talk our way in. I really hope your delusional confidence will help. If we stay on the streets, we're as good as dead. Trade or gamble some more first? We didn't do that. Alright. Well, let's trade or gamble some more first. Yeah, sure. What do you mean? Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Hello there, fellow. How are you? Good. What you want, dog? Are you up for some trading? Trading's good. Show me what you got. What do we have? Look at all this stuff. Okay, so... 
The guild value for cigarettes is garbage. So if I... Oh, I can just take things that I want. If I just get rid of these cigarettes, I can take nine now. I can take like a, a fishing pole and some carrots. And if I wanted... Cans of sardines. This though... Alright. Guild value 5, 5, 15. So these are twos. Three, one. We'll get rid of these cans of soda. Bottle of soda. Let's see. Five. So I'm going to look for anything less than five. Wet wipes. Summer of one goat. Get rid of that crap. And then I'll take things that are greater than five. I have 42 to deal with here. So anything that has a low other value and a high guild value like this, actually, not bad. Double. This is huge too. It's times seven. This is times ten. Like that that kind of stuff. And this is our stuff from before. So like basically everything that they, this guy has. Monopoly. I'm going to some of these books. Something worth three that I have. I just I want it to be even. Okay, let's do, do those and I'll grab these carrots. Right? Nice. Good stuff. Dude, you Yeah. Very good. See you around. Bye. Just got robbed, in my opinion. Okay, how do we get out of here? I think we have to talk to somebody and say, okay, we're going to the guild now. Oh, she looks feisty. Oh, that mangy looking thing? Hey, let's not be racial, Larry. Oh, you're telling me? Hey, lady. Can I help you, boys? How's the apocalypse treating you? <laughs> as well as I am treating her. What are you boys doing here? Just Scottish? Professional <laughs> scavenger guides. But we're calling it a day. Scavenging? Okay, makes sense. That is a dog business after all. Why do you have to go out of your way to offend me? I'm standing here being more than polite. Don't play naive. You've been giving me this dirty dog look this whole time. Maybe Australian. That's because you've been giving me your insulting cat look. What looks, are you too crazy? Just get him a leash. He's a menace to society. There is no society, you dumb mouser. How dare you! Ugh, look, I don't care about any of this. So you won't scavenge? Okay, do you want to trade? I don't trade. But I do gamble. Interested? Is it a game of dice? Of course! But first, you have to tie that dog to a tree. I don't trust him. I am not taking this anymore! Oh yeah? One black eye's not enough for you, puppy? Just... Fucking stop it! I'm warning you! Down, doggy. Sit! Play dead! Oh, I hate yeah, you! Just go. I'm getting out of here! That's it! Walk away! That's all you're good for! Don't fight. Whatever. Don't fight. Don't fight. So, you're still up for some gambling? Yeah, just tell me the rules first. Sure. We both have three dogs. We each promise what the hell happened to the radio? <laughs> it just got really quiet for me. No, tell me again because I was so distracted. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Yes. Let's start then. I don't Show know. Show me items that you want to oh, wager. There we go. How many? Okay, let's do. Let's do the cough syrup. Okay. Let's throw. Got a four. Oh, we got a throw. Ooh. Oh, we're we're done. We got it. Gambler past ten. You win. Mmm. Cool. Here are your items back. 
Wait, that's it? I just get my items back? <laughs> what? And choose your winnings. Okay, thank you. So I can choose eight. I can choose whatever I gambled back in items. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Onions. Garlic. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Cereal box. Risk. What? I need something worth three. Two on the nasal spray, one on the box of tea. Nasal spray is times three, box of tea is times three. Carton of cigarettes is just garbage, like, they don't smoke there. I'll do that, and that. Wanna try again? No. Nah, we'll go into the guild now. Good luck. And we'll stop it here. Let's see if it, if it saves. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're gonna stop it right here. Let me just uh, do that and say thank you for watching. We're gonna go to the guild in the next episode, and we're gonna see probably those bulls because, you know, and probably that drunk parrot because, you know. So what do we learn? That there actually are zombies. Go figure. We got a lot of good loot, and I think we have enough loot where the price that the guild want or is asking for it is higher than what it actually is worth on the street. I think we have some good stuff. So I think we're going to get in, or at least not get thrown away. So we'll find out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. -bye.